I moved back home with my parents a few months ago now, living stationary while tying up loose ends and saving up some money. And in my time here, I've started going to the Los Angeles Mycological Society meetings every month. One day, when I was checking out their Facebook group page, I saw that someone posted that the California Lichen Society was having their annual meeting and foray in San Luis Obispo. I've been wanting to learn more about lichens and have been spotting them on my treks. And so I thought, what better way to learn than this? So I went. A lichen is not a single organism, but a relationship. The evolutionary intertwining of multiple species from multiple kingdoms, fungi, algae, and sometimes yeah, cyanobacteria. So, uh, mm -hmm. This stuff, all this, is uh, called the bitterwort lichen. Bitterwort. Uh-huh. Um, and then this one is the blistered jelly lichen. Blistered jelly if you lichen? Look close, it has like tiny dots on it. Uh huh. Whereas other species don't. Oh. Whoa. The golden eye? Mm -hmm. oh, their cool. bodies have intertwined so much to the point yeah, where the their relationship has received yeah, a name. Yeah. Lace like it. Is it pale green on the top? White? Pale in the I believe so. Yeah, pull it off. These okay. so these are all branches lichens will eventually become so earth. The paler side here. Mm-hmm. And then the greener side here. Yeah. Is it? Let me check. Are they the same colors? Yep, they're different. They're different. Mm -hmm. So this is the oak moss. Oh. Mm -hmm. And this one has little um what'd you call them? Apothecia. Apothecia? <gasps> okay. And that's the reproductive organs or let me just confirm. No. This is lacy, but not like the other one. Yeah. yeah. So, this is Gold Knight. And then the little sort of like uh, bluish white gray beside it. I feel like anything close to it more than they know now. Yeah, so this one is not rare, so I'm just going to pull it off. Yeah. So mm -hmm. see it here. Mm -hmm. Oh. And you. And then they have risings, which are the bits and pieces that you want to pay attention to. And the shape of them, and that helps with ID. I, I'm not big into Peltigera, but in um, <gasps> what's his name's book? Uh, Chris. Not Chris, but Yeah, they might be too full. What if we applied this same logic to humans? Awesome. There's the little helmets that I mm -hmm. call, and that's mm -hmm. my common name for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What did Rosette like? A human is not a single organism, but also a relationship. The evolutionary intertwining of Homo sapien and an entire ecosystem of microorganisms. Broadly speaking, all of the orange, dark orange, light orange, reddish ones are in the order Telochistales. Or, and so those are all have anthraquinones in their cortex. So that's like some like a sunscreen type of pigment. So it protects them. Yeah. A lot of them like nitrogen too. Um, and um, they all have a certain kind of spore. If you get under the microscope, which is something I like to do, they have a particular kind of spore that they call polarilocular. So it's got like a spore at each end and like a constriction in the middle. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, again, so but actually to go one step like further, we are the evolutionary intertwining of everything. The sun, the water, the earth, the air that becomes the flora, the fungi, the fauna, which all become each other. And eventually it becomes us because 
everything eats and is eaten. They're just using it as a surface. They're not sucking up anything from underneath. Okay. Oh. So they're getting oxygen from the air. They're getting moisture, which they need. And but they have little rhizoids that help them hang on to things. But there's not. They're not sucking up anything from the paint. Yeah. Like a we are all not a separate entity, but a relationship. So if anyone wants to wants to collect some of it, feel free to. You say that you're going to need, you're probably going to need a chisel, which I have, if someone really wants some of it. But not the rare one. No, I just, well, he found a giant, that's all. This that's is all the same. Right so here. he found a giant patch of it. Yeah. yeah. One of those I can give Do you have them. a little identification uh, <laughs> card? Got these. these are what I put things in. So they have, okay, yeah. they have all those things on yeah. it. And that's actually, I stole that from like the... Um, uh, the bryophyte chapter of the California native plants. Head wiki. I wish I had a spray bottle. Yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. Do you want to look? So it's that. The only that. term I remember so far is uh, thallus, oh, which is the most basic one. I know it's not that. Anyway. But this is your rewind, and this is what it's named after. Oh. And um, I don't know how clean they are, but. Um, <gasps> Mm-hmm. I mean, you can get five dollar lenses, but they're not going to. You're not going to be happy. You, about let's it. just say you get what you pay for. <laughs> I've got some of this. <laughs> Put that up there to see if you would. <laughs> and you did, you totally did. I don't something about white, it's just like this this game's over. It's over? Oh yeah. You're so toast. I found some of these when I was up here two weeks ago. Oh. Probably already said that. And I'm gonna head towards Arizona, New Mexico, where I
It is day two of the Lycan Society annual meeting. And we were walking through the Los Osos Oaks Reserve and it's so, so magical here. The lace lichen really love it. That's what is hanging on this live oak tree. I've been learning so much and yeah. <laughs> Ramalina. Ramalina? Okay. Yeah, um, I don't know which species though. It could. I mean, the only. The, those, these are the apothe Apothecia? There's also Niebla um, cephalota. Niebla, okay. And that might be what this is because some of the Ramalinas do get like a weird blackening to them. But if you look like. If you look at with the hand lens, you can see that some of it is actually like. Little boys doing big things. Yeah. No, that would that would be yeah. Okay. Okay. Like the one, the app of the that Ceridian, that one, are like really. Yeah. So if you look at that with the hand lens, at the. This is carbon ball and this is white ball that is swishy. Probably some kind of slime mold. It's really soft. Oh, what the heck? What the heck? How did you do that? I feel like you summoned them. And this is, it's spore dispersal zone dark burnt rusted orange oh caterpillar hey caterpillar oh my god look at him is it his poop yeah i was just gonna say it's probably his poop oh he likes it here it's his home my spores it, the cap looks like yours. I, I agree with you. Yeah. And it's got this kind of concentric yeah, going yeah. on. I think it's just too dry to... Yeah, that's really hard to tell. tell. But that's definitely Rusla. This is for sure Rusla. That, that <laughs> super chalky white stem. I love them. Love them! You <laughs> <laughs> said this one is, is a... There, she's saying this is this one. Mm. Just old and dry. Mm -hmm. And this is Rusla. And then the discussion is whether or not this one is also Rusla or... Lacto well, lactarius, lactarius, mm. because of the 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 color of the stem, mm. and apparently this one, when you cut it, will bleed. Mm -hmm. Milky bleed. Mm. What did he do? It like it poured an off board on me. Oh! 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 oh my god! Yeah, there it goes. Isn't that crazy? It's That's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's like it feels the wind. It's like time to go. I am having a blast. So these um, red ones that are probably the California. A slug inside. Beans. Okay, California red rusla. That's easy to remember. Mm -hmm. They have sort of like an ochre creamer colored. Okay. Peel, yeah. and you find them under live oaks, which is where oh, we are. Oh um, yeah. Um, the Pizzizza the Pizzizza was a hit. Uh huh. To put, see, there's the vulva. Oh. But this color is kind of a giveaway. So, an amanita is anything with a base with, that's like that? They all have this sort of like egg sac. Egg sac, yeah. yeah. Um, but I'm pretty sure these are death caps. Oh, <gasps> are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. Death caps. This is like classic. Yes. Um, This yeah. one really smells good. Mm. Like this spike. So other ones like Cocores or um, I think it's even they'll have like a hollow spike. But these ones are all uh, um, amounts to body weight. If you're if you were prepared. 
If you are you prepared to eat a death cap? <laughs> yeah, no. I, I, These are on the calendar. Uh, <gasps> oh! Yeah, Tricholoma dryphilus. Nick told me a story about how he ran into David Aurora on the side of a freeway while he was looking for Matsutake <laughs> after a mushroom festival in Northern California. And one thing led to another, and somehow he ended up invited over to David's place. While they were talking, David told Nick a story about how he was hosting a few lichenologists over at his home and had planned a two-mile hike around his property. But, guess how far they went? <laughs> they only made it 200 feet by the end of the day. There is an infinite complexity in life at the scale of a lichen, at the scale of a human, at the scale of a forest, at the scale of the universe at large, at all scales. And it's unfathomable, but beautiful. So, welcome everyone to beautiful San Luis Obispo County. It's great to have so many lichen enthusiasts in the room. Uh, I think it was a great day of lichenizing in the oaks and the dunes. And we're excited to have an evening talk from Dr. Jesse Allen. And then I'll talk a little bit about how far they usually move. So thinking about this across the landscape, thinking about different types of lichens and how different types of lichens move. And then how, what, you know, why are we even thinking about movement? movement? Why do we care? Uh, kind of plugging that into considering their broader evolution and conservation. I think that what guides me on my path in this life is this unfathomable beauty. To notice it in my fingerprints, in the fruiting mushrooms after a rain, in the snow-capped mountains that I see from my window, in the golden poppy that's blooming in my local state park, in the lichens that I have now become friends with. There are many more friends I have yet to meet, and I can't wait to meet them all. Out, like down here, I'm so oh, yeah. Wow. They're thriving, honestly. Yeah. Another, yeah, another good question. <laughs> I think, kind of. Those are beautiful. Wow. <laughs> so you're thinking about where to move? Cool. Yeah. So now we do a lichen. Now we do a lichen. Okay. Everyone be a lichen. A cup. Um, I'm a cup too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you guys, that's pretty good, actually. Yeah.